All right, figuring out this problem. So we got the cotangent of the inverse sine of negative one half. Uh, inverse sines bound between negative pi over two and pi over two. So we're gonna be looking in quadrant four in this case. So negative one half or sine uh, works out nice because we got the numbers here. Um, so the y over r. So it's actually equal to negative pi over six. That's why I labeled that there. So we're gonna take the cotangent of uh, negative pi over six. So this is root three, negative one, and then two for r, which is the hypotenuse. Uh, cotangent's equal to x over y, so it's the inverse of the tangent, which is y over x. So in this case, it's going to be equal to root three over negative one. So in this case, what we end up with is just negative root three because you can just ignore the negative or the one on the bottom just keep the negative sign all right i hope that helps you out thanks for watching have a good one